<clears throat> Alright, so I have been making like the same video over and over really because I'm trying to like get to the point where I can cut it down. I'm trying not to make my videos so fucking long. It's sometimes, you know, it makes it less entertaining sometimes when videos are fucking 10 minutes. Like, who wants to watch a 10 minute video? But I just want to make like a response video back to, you know, the whole baby daddy situation. Like I said, if you've been watching my videos, then you know what the fuck is going on. So I got a phone call from him about like two, three days ago. And like I said, when I got the call, he didn't, um, it wasn't, the phone didn't ring. I don't know why the phone, this phone is, I don't, it's not, I know it's not the phone, but I guess it's the service, I guess from Sandy, the towers or whatever doesn't work because when I'm in my room, I got all bars. I walk into the fucking kitchen and it's like I just crossed the border or something. Like I'm in a whole nother fucking country and I get like no service. So the phone was acting funny and I was in there cooking. So he calls me and for 10 minutes, he's on the phone rambling about how he wishes me and Jordan was down there and shit like that. Because he thought that Jordan was down here and da 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 And I was just like, well, I don't even know if I'm going to be coming down there anytime soon, you know, if for the summer. Because I, I really don't know, you know, there's a lot of shit going on. Like, I, when I planned that shit out months ago, and then my mom being sick too, like I said, it's it's... It was just a lot. So now a lot of stuff has changed. So the plan has changed. And I guess he, he's feeling some kind of way about it. I'm like, bitch, it's not about you right now. Like, it's not about you at all. So for you to sit up there and act like me coming down there. Like, when I'm coming down there, I'm not coming down there to see you. Like, you're not no priority. You're mediocre to the situation that I'm dealing with. So... So, I let him ramble for, like, about 10 minutes. Like I said, on my son's birthday, he didn't call. He didn't call. He didn't. So, like, for you to sit up here a week later, and that's not even the first thing out of your mouth. The first thing I should have heard, well, I would have rather hear your bullshit excuses than for you to sit up there and not say anything at all. But he didn't, and to this day, he still hasn't said anything. You know, like... It would be different if he got on the phone, just like, yo, look, I'm sorry, I had something going on, or bullshit, da 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 you know, tell a little man, I said, happy birthday, can I talk to him? He didn't ask about his son, he didn't ask how his birthday was, he didn't wish him a happy belated birthday, none of that shit. His main concern about me and Jordan coming down there is that he wants all his sons, all his kids to be together. Well, he mm -hmm. has nothing but boys. And then he has some other chick pregnant, so she's about to have another little boy. And he's just like, oh, well, when the baby gets here type shit, like, he wants to have, like, this type of environment where he can have all his sons together. I'm like, what game do you think you fucking playing right now? Like, on some real nigga shit? I'm already pissed off at you because you didn't do what the fuck you were supposed to do. And now he feels like because I was supposed to come down there that, like, he can't help anymore. Because to be quite honest, like I said, the only reason I'd be asking him for money is for him. Like, what the, what the, I'm not one of those, this is, this is where people, like, I feel like he'd be trying to judge me and read me. Like, he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Like, I'm, I'm not your other baby mamas or whoever. I'm not one of your other bitches. When I call to ask you for money, I'm calling to ask money for him. Or when he wants something and I know that I can't get it right now, I'm going to call you and ask you. Because you know what? You're his parent. You want to be involved? Be involved. Understand that what child has needs. Now, it could be a toy. It could be, you know, him going out like, Mommy, I want a Happy Meal. You know, shit like that. After paying bills and stuff, that sometimes there isn't enough money to take him to do the stuff that he really wants to do. So that's why I ask him. So, on his, you know, the day before his, not the day before his birthday, but like a month before his birthday, I told him, I was like, look, I really want to take him to Chuck E. Cheese, you know, and he was just like, look, yeah, I'll help him, I'll help you guys out, you know, hopefully you guys will be down here, because, to, like I said, it, up until that point, I was still planning on coming down there, but, you know, because, like I said, shit happened, all of a sudden, there's a lot of stuff going on at home, we're not able to make it down there, and I don't know when we're going to be, I'll just get there when I fucking get there, but don't pressure me to like make it seem like it's a priority type shit so he got mad i was just like oh well you know it'll just be easier for me i said easier easier for you that's exactly what i'm talking about that's the selfish shit like if it doesn't benefit you then you don't want to do it you know what i'm saying like you don't want to he doesn't want to send me any more money he doesn't want to help out with his son he's like well yeah you feel like you know i can't i could take care of him financially then i'll be able to see him you're damn right 
you're not physically there, so I have to be both a mother and a father. So the money helps, yes. And I let him know when we go pick it up, you know, because he'll Western Union me the shit, and we'll go pick it up. I let him know. I call him, let him know, like, hey, you know, tell your dad thanks, and we're going out. And, you know, I take pictures and stuff like that, you know, let him know that we are enjoying, you know, the money that you sent me for him. Like, I'm taking him out, taking him out to eat, all that shit. But now he's just like, well, if I'm going to be sending you money, then I should be able to see him. Okay. Well, swerve. Like I said, I've been waiting since uh, since April fucking 26 for $40 just so I could take him. That's, that's enough money for tokens, pizza, and all that shit at Chuck E. Cheese. That is more than enough. Plus, on top of that, you got to think about the train ticket going and coming. So, like I said, that $40 would have been his whole birthday. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm a coupon hoe, so, bitch, you know, like, I would have, we would have saved some money. He would have been able to do something else and maybe the next day or whatever, but he never sent it. So he feels like, you know, then he had, he was like, oh, he got mad. He was like, well, I offered you a $300. And he was like, I offered you a train ticket. I said, bitch, how the fuck are you going to buy a train ticket when you can't even send $40? You couldn't even find $5 to send $40. So if you sit up here and tell me that you was going to spend almost three four $400 on a fucking ticket, bitch, use a black ass lie. <laughs> like, really? That's the only reason he wants me down there is because it's going to be easier for him. I'm like, I'm not trying to make it easy for you. Life ain't supposed to be easy. It's not like a walk in the motherfucking park. You're supposed to have ups and downs. So don't be upset with me because you're not doing what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. And now all of a sudden, I guess your situation is getting hard or maybe you're going through like this little crisis or whatever. And he's just like getting all upset about it. And I'm just like, I, I don't give a fuck. Like, fuck your feelings. I just want to be able to come there and see him. And I'm like, but he doesn't want to see you. He doesn't even like you. And you walked out on him. The very first time he went to his father's house, he had an accident. He was still potty training. You know, his dad got mad at him and was yelling and screaming, telling him that, uh, oh, he, he's too big for that shit. He shouldn't be doing that. He shouldn't be peeing on himself. This nigga left the house to go get coked up and drunk and then came back the next day to basically come take him from the house and just bring him back to my house. His girlfriend watched my son the whole fucking time. And I found this shit out a year later. Now, you sitting up here making unfulfilled promises to him as well. Like, not only did he think that you left him and that he's the reason why you left, that he thinks that he, you're, he thinks he's the reason why. That's basically what it is. And he, like I said, I made a response video with him and I asked him, like, random questions and stuff like that about his father and shit like that. And he, he really does not care for him. And I can understand why. And then, and then if he even brought up, like I said in the video, he brings up the whole Chuck E. Cheese incident because his father never sent him the money. He remembers shit like that. You can't sit up there and tell little promise stuff to kit to children for like a whole damn month. And then it just never shows up. He's like, oh, well, I got all his birthday stuff right here. Oh, yeah, like his Christmas stuff and his Easter stuff, too. Nigga, you must be real fucking dyslexic because all the packages either get lost in the mail or they get sent back to the house. So, nigga, I better see motherfucking Toys R Us in the motherfucking house when I walk up in that bitch. I better feel like I'm walking through a goddamn department store. And to be quite honest, I know he didn't do it. I know he didn't do it. He's a black ass lie because the other child that he has there, nigga, if you're not doing for that child who lives in South Carolina, then how the hell are you going to take care of one that lives all the way in New York? You see what I'm saying? Like, there, there are a whole bunch of holes and, you know, all his, his shit don't add up, is what I'm trying to say when it all boils down to it. So I cut him the fuck off. Then he tried to pull out a sympathy card, like, he wants me to feel sorry for him. Oh, well, you know, I just want my boys to be together because my father was never there. I don't give a fuck. Like, you don't even talk to your own brothers. Your brothers don't even really like you, first of all. And my dad wasn't there for me either, so what you trying to say? Like, I'm here. I'm doing what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Where are you at? Even more of a reason for you not to fuck up. But you continue to do it anyway. Like, I don't give a fuck if your dad was there if he, or if he was fucking dead. I really don't give a shit. Do what the fuck you're supposed to do as a parent. Now it's your turn to fill up, fill those voids and clear up those um, mistakes and stuff. And you should be doing better than them. You're supposed to show your kids. You have to teach them to be better than you. To be great. I know my child's going to be successful. I'm not worried. And you know why? It's because his father isn't there. He's not around to... He's not around to see that shit i mean you know what i'm saying like come on now you used to hide your drugs in his baby stuff like you know what i'm saying like shit like that i don't that's why i can't i can't be around him i can't be around him